Hello everyone, welcome to the sessions of simulation modeling. In the previous session, we have discussed the basic Monte Carlo simulation and its illustration process and the Excel demonstration also. That was the main part of our course curriculum of business forecasting that is called Monte Carlo simulation and its use in business planning and business forecasting. In this session today, we will study an additional concept of simulation modeling that is called system dynamics modeling. This is also simulation. Using this software, you can actually study the dynamic nature of a system over a period of time. In the Monte Carlo simulation, we generally do not capture the time. We capture the entire data and the stochastic or say probabilistic nature or random nature of any uncertain nature of any parameter and then we model that through Monte Carlo simulation through inverse function of cumulative distribution and then we use that distribution of a particular random variable or say you know uncertain parameter into your model and then you do the simulation process of and experiment of the system and you study the system behavior through different instances through different iterations. But here in this version of simulation, it is a continuous version of simulation. That means you will study the system behavior and the performance and the dynamic nature of the system of any complex system over a period of time. Like what happened in the past that will be used as a reference and you can study the system behavior using the data and the nonlinear relationship among the parameters of the system and the variables of the divisions of the system and then you can run that and you can make a forecast for the future. What is going to happen and what could happen that modification can also be done. So, predictive, prescriptive both can come in this system, system dynamics version of simulation. It is very popular in management domain. It is very popular in social science also. Today, I will give you a couple of examples both from management as well as social science also. Remember, this is additional session about simulation process. but we will spend the introductory of system dynamic simulation and just few applications and the software demonstration how does it work that is it. We will not elaborate the entire you know aspects or the characteristics of system dynamics it will take huge time. So, in a one session we thought of giving a glimpse of the basic understanding or basic information of system dynamic simulation how does it work and how it can be used for the prediction or for the strategical decision making of any organization through a continuous version of simulation process through this software. Remember sometimes we call it a micro world this software. That means using this particular software you can put the entire data, entire information and the relationship and the divisional uh, data sets everything you can put and you can run the entire process or the dynamic nature of the company or organization and you can study their behavior over a period of time. So, therefore, since you can do everything through this software in your pen drive through this particular software say therefore, we call it a micro world. Enter in organizations your college information, your library system, your you know municipality system, your you know any company's performance, manufacturing system everything you can study and you can supply chain performance everything you can study through the software using the data and the proper relationship among the data and you can study the system behavior. It is a little complex, but it is very interesting and easy to understand once you understand the software features. So, we will focus the software features little bit and couple of application in today's session. When it comes to the application whether it is a management, government, economy, environment everywhere you can use this particular software, but remember it is not a Monte Carlo simulation. Here people use integral equation, here people use differential equation like Ranga Kurta method, Euler equation etcetera and then they use this particular simulation software. They developed MIT developed this software. This software is very popular and many people have been using this in their academic need, research and the industrial applications. Now, think about the characteristics of this particular software. As I mentioned, it studied the system behavior over a period of time. So, you need to study the pattern, the behavior and the different properties of the software to some extent the company's performance, right, organizations. For example, say pattern of the data whether it is unorganized, organized or self organized, how, how does it work all these things that pattern of the system like if you are studying a manufacturing process or say you know demand planning or say FD calculation. So, you need to understand what is the interest rate, how the manufacturing process is going on in last couple of months, how does it work. 
So all this pattern you need to understand, then only data pattern and the system behavior, then only you can make a better relationship, you can construct a better model and we can make a better strategic decision making through this software. Then the different properties like independent parameter who are not involving into the system directly but can have a um, relationship, interdependent relationship with the, your overall system, the scale, whether it's a small scale, large scale, how many periods you'd love to study, whether it's a ERI study or say, you know, we call it a BOT behavior over graph that also need to study. So different type of, you know, aspect characteristics are there through the software. Once you'll open the software, you'll get to know. Remember one more part. These are the couple of important points. Multiple feedback effect this is a very important part of the software. It's a feedback like, you know, currently suppose your system is, this is a time, right? Currently system performance you have to study. So this is the system say. It's a very complex system. It's inbuilt. It is overall system performance. So what do you do over a period of time? You have to study the system behavior. So the system is moving actually. So you want to study the system performance over a period of time. Therefore, you need the feedback mechanism or feedback effect. What happened in the past that will have an impact in the future. What happened in the past that will have an impact in your future. So it's a recursive process and feedback cause effect relationship comes into the picture and this feedback mechanism develop to study your future performance based on your past performance like, the, like time series data. What happened in the past that will have an impact in your future based on the pattern and the behavior of the past data. Similarly here also what happened in the past that system behavior will have an impact to your future performance also. So therefore cause effect relationship and the system feedback multiple feedback which will come here to study the system behavior over a period of time. Delay is also very important I will show you one example like if you would love to shift a product of supply chain say in the logistics there might be say transportation system there might be a delay of 7 days. Like if you have a global supply chain, a maritime supply chain, in that case you might see that you know, there might be two months, three months delay. So that delay you have to put right in your system. So how to incorporate that delay also, that's this software can take care of that also, that part also. This effectively it's actually features the real scenario of the company performance. What is happening that can be captured, visualized clearly through this software performance. And non-linear responsive will be a very important part, like you know, it could be linear, non-linear, all aspects can come into the picture while studying the system performance. Look at cause effect relationship as I was, I was talking about. System thinking, sometimes this software people call it as a, the simulation software of system dynamics, people call it as a system thinking because how the system is thinking with your past behavior and the data and the inter relationship that you need to understand effectively, you have to think that is called micro world and the complex system. The better you think, better how it is performing, if you can capture effectively and if you can model effectively, probably you will be able to design a better model with better accuracy and better, better forecast. So these are the couple of point, feedback linkage and, and to some extent, you know, boundaries of the data and the overall, you know, length that, you know, how many periods, how many months, overall spectrum of the data you need to study. Few more characteristics we can study like label and rate, two most important parameters or say you can variables of your software. Once you will open the software, you will find that couple of box or say, you know, arrow will be there. So what are them? These are the rate and say, you know, variables kind of thing. So label is nothing but the actual amount or the information or the quantity that will be stored here. It's a tank. It's a value where the main para performance will be stored that you need to study. Suppose FD you want to calculate, FD value will be stored here. The information flow, the material flow that will be stored here. We call it a label. Suppose you want to calculate the inventory level. So inventory will be stored here. Right, warehouse inventory, manufacturing process, whatever you want to apply. So this is what the main part of your CD software level that you look to study, right? Then how the FD is been calculated through rate, right? Through interest rate. So that rate will come into the picture year on year basis. It will add that value will go into your total FD calculations. Similarly, suppose you will have to calculate the inventory level. So how the inventory level are ordering and how the inventory level is consumed. So that is nothing but the inflow rate and outflow rate. This is called rate. This rate is not different like interest rate. Interest rate is a fixed, but in every year, how much value is added to your FD? How much value of inventory you are ordering? That is per, per week, say. So that is called your rate. The change, the change of your data in your final accumulated value, that is called the level value. So these two are the most important parameters in this particular software. And then behavior of the system structure, as I talked about, that is the system study. I'll show you a couple of graphs, you'll get to know the system behavior understanding is very important and is one of the important characteristics of this particular software. Then loop dominance and the non-linearity, I'll discuss that also. Loop dominance means there might be a big, large, complex system, right? You might see that. There might be a couple of parameters, variables who are managing the uh, performance of the organizations. Here also a couple of parameters and subsystem who is managing the say, system one. 
सब सिस्टम वन एंड से सब सिस्टम टू से इन दैट केस दिस सब सिस्टम वन इज कॉम्प्लेक्स दिस वन इज आल्सो कॉम्प्लेक्स बट बोर आर बोथ आर इंटरकनेक्टेड से बट व्हाट हैपेंस यू नीड टू स्टडी द इंटर परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द इंटर सिस्टम राइट सो दिस लूप दिस सब सिस्टम दिस लूप माइट बी डोमिनेटिंग दिस वन सो इन दैट केस व्हाट हैपेंस योर इंटर परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस विल इंक्रीज इफ दिस इज सपोज इफ दिस इज सपोज एनहांसिंग लूप and this is suppose you know diminishing loop so in that case if this is active in that case you might see that this loop will decrease the downfall of your entire system performance so these are the called dom loop dominance i can give you one example the concept of loop loop dominance suppose you know in a population control suppose population study you will have to do through the software right so population will be your level right total population of a country of a city you will have to study right so this will be the level and this populations will be controlled through your rate right that rate that i was talking about in the previous slide so this rate the notations will be there like this i'll show you later so this population you have to study right so this populations are been controlled or are been measured through two main main parameter one is the birth rate and other is the death rate right so there might be two loop one is the birth rate loop and another is a death rate right so these two label rate rate value here i have mentioned rate value will help you in calculating your population over a period of time every year how much population are been accumulating in the city or in your state or in your country you will be able to calculate through this particular software i'll show you couple of illustration so where where is the loop dominance maybe birth rate is could could be high than every year than the death rate then in that case if there will be a loop birth rate and population the correlation and there will be another loop in the right hand side say death rate and population so if there are two loops say birth rate is this one and the death rate is this one and enter population you have to study in that case your birth rate loop left hand side loop will be dominating the death rate loop hence you will see your population graph the behavior graph will be increasing over a period of time why population is increasing this population study you have to study right through the software how it will be increasing because birth rate loop is higher birth rate is higher that loop is dominating than the death rate there should be death rate otherwise population will be exponentially increased so death rate will balance your system but overall birth rate is dominating hence your population rate is increasing i believe it is clear to everybody these are the couple of information that you need to understand when you use this particular software in future for your project or for your industry or your for academic purpose in future so i thought of sharing this particular software as a one in one session so that you get a different you know flavor about this simulation based forecasting and the business planning and the strategy endogenous and exogenous variables could be there some variables who are not directly involved in the system but it has a impact in the in the system so this point or this particular parameter into identify they are not the auxiliary variable they are not inside parameter who are changing over a period of time maybe fixed type of constant time or some sort some sort of you know some dynamic variables will be there who are not directly involved in your system but has a impact it can be inside the organization it can be outside the organization like sunlight sunlight is exogenous variables right it does not come from the insides of your system but you cannot control it but it will have a impact in your decision making or in your performance system performance then system structure as i mentioned system structure are been developed by the two main parameter level and rate and then couple of auxiliary parameters will be the auxiliary variables intermediate variables will be there let's see couple of you know example for that type of graph how the system behavior works the system behavior could be the most important you know six graphs there might be many more graphs but these are the most popular graphs through the software when you study the system behavior with the results input result and output results you'll be able to see this type of graph say exponential growth you can understand exponential growth when there will be you know inflow is high you will see the total level value that i was talking about level value right this level value will be always increasing you know in case your input flow is high so you'll get you'll see that your graph of this level level stock variable will be increased exponential growth similarly if companies performing every every quarter they are coming up with their good good results you will see the exponential growth will be there similarly goal seeking sometimes you know it will go up and then it will get steady you are seeking the goal and you are reaching the goal so then after that it will remain steady so goal seeking graph could be there oscillating graph could be the like up down up down kind of thing stock price might go up down up down up down kind of thing volatile market so there are many examples which follow oscillating for pattern sf growth like you know for for startup or so to some extent for the initial like small scale companies performance follow sf growth initially it will be quite high then after that it will get maturity so these are to some extent sf growth s7 oscillating with over floating or with over shoot you can see that's growth and then sometimes you know it will be fluctuating so uh, i can give one example like that suppose you know if you release a movie 
initially there will be high demand so it will be spiked quickly then after that after one or one or two weeks, you might say that based on the word of mouth etc i'll show you a couple of example the vast diffusion model of marketing you will get to know how sf graph helps there so after that it will be fluctuating and after, after some time it may fall also here you can see new movie if it is a good movie initially it will be high but after that it will be saturated then there will be no people will see but if the movie is flop immediately it will fall down so there are many couple of examples where you know you can bring through this particular aspects of graph behavior of a system dynamics models now let's understand few more aspects like in you know, a information feedback system remember in this particular software the most important part is the information feedback system how the information or the material are passing remember when you develop a system in a software it's all about information right even if it is inventory or material flow you are not putting your material in your software right only the information of the material you are putting here so information flow is the only important part and that feedback mechanism is the crust of this particular software look at couple of example a person sends that he may fall correct his balance and therefore he is able to stand erect what does it mean he realized look, look at the system thinking and self regulating process the software how the system feedback cause effect relationship i talked about right so how that does, how does it work look at this particular example a person sense that he may fall you are riding a bike you might see that in front there is a obstacle or say you know some path also so you take the left you are riding the bike with a full speed you are taking the left you are controlling the speed and you are managing the obstacle and you are going forward so this is all everything is happening in your mind so this is called the system feedback every time your mind is working with the feedback process so this how you will capture that through this software that is the craft of this particular you know system dynamics modeling and continuous version of modeling and through that you can develop any kind of practical aspects of company's performance or the different organizations model you can design through this software i'll show you a couple of example through this software also today like you know in business order the inventory level lead time which leads to the manufacturing decisions that fills the order correct the inventories yield the new manufacturing decisions so it's a it's a feedback it's a feedback right it's a feedback it's a feedback so effectively your system performance over a period of time and when you run the system you will see everything is performing over a period of time so how does it work that is what the system dynamics or the you know continuous version of simulation through the software it helps you not only the prediction it helps you also the business strategy decision making also you can rectify your model you can take a recourse action so this therefore this software is not only the prediction model the business forecasting uh, modeling this software is a part of predictive prescriptive modeling also so because strategy you can also take based on the understanding of the software and how does it work accordingly you can take a recourse action plan in competition also you know in r&d also people use this software for their technological development and what kind of difficulties they are facing they can also capture through this software internally look at here one example the mechanism of feedback loop and information feedback how does it work i have given example of riding a bike right here you can think because i have put this example here therefore i am sharing you can see the way you want to fill a glass up with water and you have a faucet and you know you how you handle that remember it's all about i your mind your hand and the glass of water so all work together actually your action plan your results and the information flow so all this feedback loop is happening in a minimum in a one minute duration or say 30 seconds duration look at this inter information is going over what is the water level initially here then here then here then here you cannot pull more than that right there will be overflow so you, all these are happening in a over in a period of a small period of time and your hand is working over here you cannot make it full flow so you have to control this also water is coming here and your information is going and that you are controlling through your mind and your inter process are doing this is complex system it looks very easy but when you go to the large scale problem complex or complex industrial problem you will find it is very difficult so how to design it how to draw it that is the aspects of this particular software of system dynamics here we can see this inter process are here like this is called cld diagram causal loop diagram i'll show you more examples you will get to know in this particular software like the feedback mechanism how does it it might be plus sometimes it might have a effect positive effect some might be negative effect so all this will come together and overall the system behavior can be studied through this particular cause effect relationship or the system dynamics or the you know stock flow diagram this type of graph are called the causal loop diagram here you can see couple of more causal loop diagram couple of more example here how the cause effect it could be the positive effect it could be the negative effect as i was talking about reinforcing loop it can be balancing loop so think about this it's a to some extent what about salary and performance it's a reinforcing higher the salary higher the performance higher the performance higher the salary so in both case it's a positive you can think the positive feedback look at here 
positive both are positive so it's a it's a reinforcing loop like exponential growth or to some extent rein, reinforcing it's increasing it's a motivational loop but look at this it's a balancing loop here you can see one positive one negative more the tired you need more sleep more the sleep you are reducing your tired so it's a negative feedback so it's a actually balancing loop but it's a reinforcing loop so these are the different type of examples in your system what you need to study through this particular software here you can see in the previous examples here i have talked about the cld diagram it's a reinforcing loop left one and the right one is the look at the negative it's a balancing loop both are independent right here it's a one effect the other the cause effect one effect the other and it's a all are performing in a better manner because both are increasing but here you can see it's a balancing if tire increases if tire level level of tiredness increases what happens your you need more sleep so here it's a positive but here the you need more right more is a positive so when you have a more sleep here you can see your tiredness will reduce so it's a balancing it's a negative overall positive negative comes to it come out comes out to be a balancing loop in the pre next example i have add, add both in a complex system it's a small complex more small problem but just trying to say you share with you that how you can integrate the concepts look at here it's a same example you would like to study the population this is the level right level or stock value but this can be calculated through your rate right through your rate through your rate so here you can see this loop is a positive loop reinforcing loop look at here plus higher the birth rate higher the population higher the population higher the birth rate look at here the cld diagram causal loop diagram but look at here higher the population higher the death rate higher the death rate lower the population so this death rate actually reduce your population and control your population so if this is a reinforcing loop enhancing loop this is a balancing loop because this loop controls your population this loop enhance your population increase your population so when you put together you can see a complex system and the system performance of population you can study we'll see that in the software how you can put this type of data and you can draw graph and you can see the performance of population and all these things right now here you can see that the i was talking about the exogenous variables look at here this you cannot control but this, that will have an impact in your decision making of the company performance or the system performance harvesting plantation sunlight required like renewable energy sunlight required you cannot control but it has an impact in your you know renewable energy solar energy production so this is an exogenous factor you cannot control it but it will have an impact in your decision making so you need to understand you need to capture that also here is the another look at the delay unless you if you start growing a tree plantation process you cannot start harvesting immediately right the crops you cannot start harvesting you need to at least two months three months you need to wait then only once the trees goes up crops comes then only you can harvest similarly for big tree you need to wait five years six years seven years before you do the harvesting process cut the tree so this delay you have to put otherwise your system will not work because in a time period bod behavior of a time graph in this time period you are you know doing the plantation next time period you cannot cut so initially maybe first 10 years you will not have any harvesting here on all your harvesting will start so this is the input data like you know your in an investment is going on here on all you will see the outcome like you know return so like delay will come so initially in your this software helps you in developing the delay part also because you can capture it effectively one such interesting feature i thought of sharing with you so this way you can manage the different aspect small aspects of this particular uh, practical aspects through this particular software now let us come to the software and how the software can be designed so before we go to the software let us understand couple of the basic features that we talk, that i talked about how they are named and how that how they work remember the two main parameters stocks and flow i told right we are going to enter into the software now remember two most important parameter a variable stock and flow these are the main parameters so stock and stock and flow stock sometimes people call it a stock or level which accumulates over time the actual money money actual information actual in material that you are accumulating through over a period of time that is stock right unit could be say money, rupees unit could be inventory unit the unit could be say number of inventory unit could be population person so it is actual information right actual quantity but all are information but actual quantity that we have to calculate flow rate is nothing but the change over a period of time the rate of change of your stock right so you know if it is a stock so 
this is your rate flow every every time period how that your stock level or you know actual value is changing that every calculation i was talking about how it is changing so that in like every rate could be 10% say or 15% or 5% but if you keep 1 lakh in your fd first year it could be 10 10k right next year it could be 11k so this value change so this is your rate this is your rate flow 10% is internal interest rate it is a constant parameter it is not changing but your rate value first year it is 10000 next year it is 11000 because next year your accumulated value has become 1.1 lakh right 1.1 lakh so based on that your 10% will come so it is changing so therefore rate value will be changed every time period therefore your actual stock or the calculation fd will change over a period of time just one example i am sharing similarly auxiliary variables or information which are the intermediate variables which help you in calculating your rate of your system so stock when you calculate stock or say you know level value that is calculated through rate as i talked about that is calculated through rate right whether inflow or outflow that will calculated through rate but in the middle there might be auxiliary parameter who helps you in calculating your this rate and the stock right so the intermediate variables of your system company or in your divisions are called the auxiliary variables i'll show you a couple of examples so as i mentioned stock is a quantity which and the rates are per unit time period and this is the actual calculation and in a, here like in actual information and here few more information i have mentioned you can read in you know, like you know choice of time unit must be consistent flow can be positive or negative uh, contents of stock flow network is conserved you know so all these things you need to understand while designing once you develop this particular software over a period of time you will understand all the features of the software effectively look at the notations of the variables so this is the level i was talking every time this is the rate i was talking every time so this is the rate this is the level the auxiliary variable intermediate this is the source and sink the outside the sunlight source sink water is you know consuming amount of money is consuming this is the sink right this is the sink this is the source and the constant which you don't have any control it's a fixed value which will have a impact in your uh, system purpose look at the causal effect arc value so these are the different notations when you open the software you will get to know stock flow diagram now in the software it will be look like this so this is your stock say example say inventory this is your flow inflow rate it like a production rate it is outflow nothing but your cement rate so this is what the effect of stock flow diagram in the software we call it is a system dynamic software or using bensim or i think or stella there are many softwares or dynamo there are many softwares in the commercial domain available you can use any one of them today we will use bensim bensim software which has been developed by mit that software i'll show you and how this type of diagram can be developed and you can run the system behavior through simulation of continuous version here you can see look at here this is the external factors or say like you know like x desired output level that you want and look at the water glass of water that you filled right for example and here you can see this we have discussed few minutes ago but here you can see when you develop this in a software it will look like that and then you can see the water level of your glass is increasing over a period of time or decreasing whatever the example tank you are filling a tank of water whatever or say dam there are many case studies you know how a dam of a you know hydro project can be handled that also you know people have used this particular software and they have used their case study solved their case study and they monitor the entire dam water etc and how to release how does it work all these things can be done through this software also look at here the example that i talked about the birth population and this so birth population only one loop the reinforcing loop i have and drawn here you can see population birth and the population so it will have your birth rate will come here obviously it will improve your increase your population look at another example say interest rate say stock your fd it is your fd interest rate this is the fixed value say 10% or say 15% say here i have written 15% 15% interest rate it is fixed but this value will change right this is the every year this value will change therefore your stock value will also change look at the flow your principal value is coming every year because it is increasing it is increasing it is increasing over a period of time but it, this is fixed 15% and this is say say first year 15000 next year say 17 point something how this is changing actually so this value will add and your principal value will increase over a time how does it work i'll show you through the software look at how this is level is changing over a period of time and look at here your rate is changing this is the rate right first 15 then 17.25 and that value you are adding your actually your level value the fd value principal value initially 100 but it is changing now after 15 years you can see 813 is your new 
able to calculate value. So you can effectively do that. In bank, they don't use the software, but if, you can, they, if they can use the software, quickly they can understand the system we are in effectively, and they can study the NPA calculation and who is getting default, all these things study, they can do actually through this particular software. Look at the graph, how the level of principal and the interest rate are changing, that also you can study through this output result of this graph. So the software will look like this, blank sheet will look like this, here in this side you will have a features of editing or developing the software and in these sides you will be able to see the output results. I will show you in the, so when you go to the software. Look at here one example, look at this example, just I have drawn it that when you go to the software, the software will look like this, the latest version of the software of Vensim software, Vensim software will look like this in the, when you will open the software. Look at here, this is your copy, paste, all these things like the basic software work. Here you can, it's a label, through this you know, look at the stock variable, auxiliary variables, the equation, the relationship, and then when you lock that, so that you know, you can lock it, you can unlock it, you can run the simulation through these two, you know, button, and you can also delete the information, you can modify, you can check the error equations are correct or not through this, you know, through this, you can check the equations are correct or not, all these things, and the, here you can see the result graph, table, figure, causal relationship, precedence and the success, succeeding relationship, all these things, CLD diagram, everything you can see through this, all results you can put in your Excel, you can put in your Word or you can give a presentation in your through PPT also. And then look at here, it says suppose government debt, like you know NPA or government deficit you want to calculate, right, through your case study, through your data, Gov India government or your state government data you have and you look to study, how the debt is increasing of, of, a, of a government. So net rate is your rate, this is your rate, right? Every year it is changing. This is your level, stock, stock variable. Because you want to study the government debt. If the government is performing, your debt may reduce. But if the government is not able to perform, generate higher revenue, but expenditure are in interest rate because they have taken the debt, so they will have to pay the interest. If the interest rate and the expenses are high, overall this government revenue will dominate, the, this loop will dominate. The, maybe government revenue you can calculate with some other more parameter, I have not put more, just for your information. The total expenses will dominate your government revenue in case you are not able to generate more revenue through different sources. Look at the government debt. So how the debt is increasing? Because expenses, expenses are revenue gap, the deficit, the difference, are your debt every year. So if your expenses are low, your total, you know, your expenses are high, your, then the revenue, your debt will increase. But if your revenue is high and expenses are low, your debt will reduce. Your graph of debt will reduce over a period of time. If government revenue is high over a period of time, say so 10 years, 10 years you will have to study, right, of a, of a government performance. If the revenue every year are high and the total expenses for the development process or the salary and all these things are low, you will see the debt of the government will reduce. But if the expenses are high, physical deficit, people talk about fiscal deficit, right? This way you can also use this particular software. But if revenue are low, you will see the graph of debt will increase. You can study all this. This software I have already drawn up. You can see the note, you can see the picture, and you can try using the software. You can download the software, Vensim software, uh, two months trial versions you can download from their website. If you just go to Google and download Vensim free, you will receive the software link in your Gmail and you can install it in your laptop or desktop and you can run this different software through different case studies or case applications. Here I have done it. Look at here is another example, bus diffusion, bus diffusion model. In marketing it is very popular, bus diffusion model. Here generally suppose you like to see a movie, right? You want to study the performance of a movie. The potential customers are there as a new product. For new product, it's very popular, right? New, new product launch. It's an adapter who has already consumed the product or have already seen the movie. These are the consumers who would like to buy the product or like to see the movie. Potential customers, a total population in that region, say. So this population of the bus diffusion model in marketing of a new product works through two main parameters. One is the advertisement, another is the word of mouth. If the movie is good or the product is good, people will spread it through their network, social media network or the word of mouth. Then in that case what happens over a period of time, over a period of time, let me, over a period of time, how, what happens, this is called BOT, right, Be behavior over time graph. Over a period of time, what happens, the entire system performance, here are two main parameters, population, potential adapter and the adapter, right, you can study their graph, 
you will see the adapter graph will increase and potential adapter graph will decrease because over a period of time if the product is good the word of mouth will be high and the advertisement also will have an impact in your uh, consumer products purchase also so in that case also movie say movie if the movie is good you do more advertisement you will get more customer more potential customers will see the movie and they will convert over a period of time from potential adapter to adapter and the word of mouth also will help word of mouth also will help in increasing your uh, conversion from adapter to potential adapter to adapter this for word of mouth or say advertisement effectiveness so these are the two you know adoption through advertisement two main parameter in bus diffusion model of marketing for new product launch it is a evergreen model you can use this model and you can develop many case studies in your real life or in your project also but this word of mouth the calculation of word of mouth and say adopt, adoption through advertisement can be done through the adoption rate because this is your rate this is your rate so that you have to calculate through these two value rate is nothing but what advertisement plus word of mouth so the order mode you have to calculate every time period every week say or every month what is your unit you don't know unit you can define when you open the software you can define your unit then order mode and advertisement you can put and you can calculate your rate adoption rate every week or every month how many people are shifting from the potential to adapter for consuming or who are watching the movie and they will have an impact in your decision making also advertisement will not be linked to the adapters but overall process you can develop and you can study the system behavior over a period of time this is what the system dynamics and the impact of system dynamic simulation for prediction as well as for strategy decision making also here you know on you can see one another example like in inventory management you know warehouse management you can use also you know this type of software look at so many complex systems so many subdivisions are there you need to link all of them right and then only you can study the raw material inventory of your warehouse you can study this type of so different case studies through this software also look at here another examples before we go to the software here you can see the population so forget about rabbit suppose population of a just i have taken on basic example it is very popular example for this software and here is a birth rate has the death rate i have given this example right birth rate is fixed say lifetime is fixed say 8 years say or say here it says say 10 percent say or whatever if you put this an initial value if you put say say 100 say or in a, in a local region or, or in a particular area you can see how this these are changing but the ex the reason of putting this example is here how to develop the unit because you need to run a actual software right look at the data sets how to put units you have to put right look at the data birth rate and the unit you have to put look at the birth calculation the nonlinear equation and the unit all this you need to put population is integral equation i told about right level and stock or level are nothing but the integral equation of your rate like dy dt d s dt s is nothing but your stock level right s is nothing but your stock level you and s dt this will help you in calculating your level or stock every time period so therefore it is integral equation and you need is actual rabbit number of population unit money cost this is the actual level value and this is the rate value and this is the intermediate data or say in a constant data if you put the unit and etc in the software you can run the software and you can get to know let us start with the basic fd calculation basic fd calculation through this software and then we'll show you couple of bus division model etc or the government debt through the illustration of the software so we have come to the software now the vensim software you can install that software through the link by down in google that download vensim free vensim so you will get the link and you can download in your gmail you have to give your gmail name organization the link will come and you can download this software only once you open this software the free version you will see this type of uh, interface so now let us start with that so let us start with basic fd calculation so first you have to draw the label select the label here right here so suppose write down fd value say right you want to calculate right this fd value and you this is your label or stock variable look at here this one. and you have to calculate your rate this calculation will be done through your rate but before that you have to put the interest value right so you put the interest say here say interest rate interest rate you put that this interest rate will help you in calculating your fd over a period of time so i'll give the time period also let us complete the time period also go to the model and setting so let us save the model say say let us save the one say test model right 
test 1, 2, 3, say, suppose. So, model is saved, you need to put the unit also setting. So, a month wise, you will have to study the month wise performance of your FD or say, you know, quarter wise, say, say, quarter wise study you will have to do, right. And say, time units initially 1 and say, say, say 100 quarters, suppose. And time step is 1. Here you can see the time step like 0 0.2, 0 0.5, etc. You can do all these things. Whatever you do, you can do this, right. You can save. Now, material information, the time spent and the behavior of a graph, like 100 months of duration you want to study the FD calculation. Now, this FD label value is done. Initial value you will have to give data, you have to enter later. And the interest rate also, I will have to give the data first. First, construct the model, the causal loop or stock flow diagram. Then, the rate, main part, rate is here. So, select here, say, and then come, say, here, say, this is what your rate, right? Net rate, net interest rate. This will change over a period of time. This net interest rate will be calculated through your interest rate, right? So, click this. So, now you can change this formula wherever you want to do, right? So, net interest rate. And now, this FD will be accumulated every time period, right? So, you need to connect this with your FD rate or net interest rate also, connect this. So, you have connected just like this. So, it will be easier to understand. Now, what we have done? We have designed the model. You have to give the data. What do you do? Unlock it. Go to equation. Look at the equation. Look at all the variables says that there is no data. So, click one by one. Say interest rate. Start with interest rate. Right. Look at the interface of equation data like solver here also in the software in, in equation has come. Initially, suppose you, you would like to put interest at 10 percent say or 15 percent. So, point zero 0.01 you give. So, it could be 1 by year say per year 1 by year you can put 1 by year say. Right. You can do this. 1 by year because this is interest rate fixed per year. So, clear you can put some comment about the soft, the variable also. So, that when you have a complex, large complex system, you can see that what variable this is actually. Because in complex system, there are hundreds of variables. It will be very difficult for you to understand. If you keep on the comment on the equation, some information, okay, this variable talks about that. That information will appear here once you bring your mouse to that, nearby to that, that variable. Now, if you select, the, select this equation formula, look at here, this is filled now because data you have entered. Similarly, FD you can put and the interest rate also you can put. One example I can show you, say FD, look at its integral equation, automatically interest in integral equation come, it has come. And also it has been calculated through rate only, not from the other variable I told you about that, you know, rate or the level or the stock are calculated through rate only, not from the auxiliary variables. Auxiliary variables, the intermediate variable constant, all this will help you in calculating your rate to the system. So, the system, the main FD will be calculated through rate because every year it will be, in, it is integral equation. So, every year it will be changed or every time period it will be changed through your rate, net rate. So, that net rate or the in, that outflow inflow will come into your the box. Therefore, the inventory information, whatever you will have to study, population, everything will be calculated through rate only, not the auxiliary variables. But auxiliary variables will help you in calculating your net rate. So, here it is done initial value, suppose you put say 1 lakh. Right. And you need here it is a money, right? You can put you need, you can write say, you know, say rupees. You can put this. It is a label. Look at here. The FD is also now has the data. Similarly, interest rate you can put. Look at the interest rate. It is nothing but what? Interest rate, net interest are being calculated. Your FD value, say 1 lakh multiplied by 10 percent, multiplied by 10 percent. This has already been given the data, right. But this unit is different. Unit is what? Rupees per year, right. Rupees per year. Then only you will be able to, your unit will come effectively. For example, if you put only rupees, say, only rupees, you will see there will be error. Click OK. Look at. Here we have put the data, look at here, lock it, then unlock it and then if you put the equation, it says that every, every all the variables in your software has the data, right, before you run the simulation here. But 
if you check the unit come to model and unit check there will be error look at there are error why this error because your interest rate will have a net interest rate will will be is a change rate of change right so it will be rupees per year then only your actual rupees will come so therefore what you have to do the unit error are saying you come here net interest click the net interest rate go to equation and then here if you put rupees per year probably this error at least will go click okay and then if you check the model unit look at here if you see here so many equations complex equation non linear if then else delay i was talking about right integer variable random information normal distribution smoothing information flow step function everything you can put while developing your model for input data auxiliary variables calculation process so now here you can see units are correct even for fd value also if you see the equations for your information i am sharing here you can see initially suppose 1 lakh we had given net rate also same value we had given now it, it will work anyway i had saved that file earlier now if you run this and interest is a constant value here i can show you the equation also look at it is 1 by r and 10% now units are okay you can check again units and the data entry are all fine units are okay right now if you run it just run this fast or already saved file is already saved just run this one second one look at the outcome so fd value is changing over a period of time your net rate is also changing but interest rate is fixed because you have put 10% look at the relationship look at look at interest rate is having helping your net rate fd are been calculated click this and click this particular formula you will be able to see from where it is coming look at it is from net rate available fd are been calculated and if you want to see the graph look at the graph look at the graph of rupees net rate all these things you are able to see you will have to see the data table this come here look at the data table every year how the initially 1 lakh then 1 lakh 10000 then 1 lakh 21000 then 30 33000 so you can see all this data you can copy and paste in your excel word everywhere you can put that therefore i talked about it's a, it's a micro world in your pen drive you can carry the entire bank sbi or you know icic banks entire data process enter in you know, units data you can carry actually through your pen drive because it's a small software but enter information of a particular employee particular clerk or particular clients you can store and you can study this fd calculation i have shown you look at here how the net rate are changing click this and then see the graph look at how the net rate are changing you can increase the graph size you can check actually how the net rate are changing you can see over a period of time 10 years you have put the data here and also you know you can see table in this way this format also table in the vertical format also look at here so all this new value it's if you want to change the 10 interest rate you can still look at i told about it is not about prediction it helps in calculating your you know strategy strategy decision making also suppose you want to change your interest rate you can see the effect of your fd interest net rate over a period of time everything you can see so this is what the beauty of this particular software you can draw you can download and you can draw different type of examples that i have shared today and you can try look at another example quickly i have drawn everything but i can show you look at the government debt example look at this this is the government debt right so enter data i have put if you want to see unlock the help model and if you check this government debt look at government debt net it is coming through net deficit net government deficit we can see the initial value because it's initial value the debt should be have a, should have initial value because it's a level value stock value initially you need some money or information look at it's a dollar suppose i had i could have put rupees suppose dollar i have put and you, all these units you put and if you put the relationship of the data look at here interest payment are nothing but look at here interest payment are nothing but your current debt into the interest rate that rbi is charging say right so interest rate or the government is charging so interest rate and the current debt both will come into your effect of final prediction of your interest payment every year that you need to pay total expenses are nothing but other government expenses plus interest rate click total government 
you can see it is nothing but the sum of interest payment every year or every time period that you have here we have put time period as a year right plus the expenses both will give you interest rate and expenses both will give you your final calculation of your total expenses of that year government revenue you can also put some you can make extend the model with by adding more data of government revenue from where you are generating revenue you will you will be able to calculate the government revenue then this government revenue and total debt uh, total expenses will have to subtract from because your debt is increasing so here you can see net deficit government deficit are nothing but total government expenses minus government revenue therefore you, and it is a dollar per year because it is nothing but actual rate you are calculating that will be added to your final debt if you click ok you can see that this debt government debt is nothing but deficit is nothing but expenses minus revenue because you have done subtraction check expenses minus revenue and your debt has been calculated effectively then through this net rate every year you run it since i had saved the file you can directly run the model you can see if you are increase your revenue look at if you increase your revenue look at your debt is falling down look at here but if your revenue is low but expenses are high your debt is increasing look at the strategy not only forecast you can do the strategy also predictive and prescriptive both can be done through this simulation software look at here look at here look at you are increasing your revenue over a period of time suppose because the changing means revenue are changing look at here your debt is falling down throw net deficit look at interesting part look at here if you this see, see this suppose you know your other expenses are increasing suppose suppose down you are you are able to reduce the expenses look at here your debt is falling your revenue is same but you are re re reducing your expenses look at here your debt is has fall down you click this you can see the graph and the table effectively look at the graph of your debt because you have reduced the expenses so this all type you know this expenses i have put a fix per year right you can modify with the random data with random variable normal distribution step function all these things if then else condition you can put all these things here because the, you can go to the equation and you can put different type of uh, complex information or the actual random behavior or the risk parameter and you can study the government deficit gdp calculation whatever you want you can do through this software i believe it is clear to everyone now let us close this and then for your information one more problem that i have discussed that i'll show you then we'll wind up the session say bass diffusion model right let's see this so this also i have drawn the potential adapter and the adapter and the adoption rate through word of mouth and the advertisement effectiveness all formula i have kept here look at the word of mouth formula sorry i have to unlock it look at the word of mouth formula and the equation look at here all this data i have kept the information all these things and if you run it you can see your adoption potential adapter is falling over a period of time the number of potential person who would like to see the movie and the persons who has seen the movie or has consumed the product are increasing over a period of time how that is happen through advertisement and through word of mouth you can do the policy study all these things you know effectiveness if you increase your advertisement amount your quickly adoption rate will increase because advertisement amount effectiveness will increase similarly if you have a word of mouth if you do more social media uh, publication or like you know word of mouth or your network integration probably you will be able to increase your order of mouth effectively your adoption rate will increase further so all this study you can do through this software this is for the system dynamic software prediction and prescription through this continuous version of simulation of system dynamics modeling i thought of sharing this as a part of simulation modeling and the business forecasting session i hope it is clear to everybody the basic understanding of the continuous version of simulation that is for system dynamics simulation or business dynamic simulation and how the prediction can be done through data modeling through nonlinear relationship stock flow diagram and how can you make a prediction over a period of time and how can you make a action plan also so this all put together are called the system dynamic simulation and the business planning and the strategy decision making with that let us conclude this session of system dynamic simulation as a part of business forecasting thank you